Hey everyone, Christian here, and I wanted to do a vlog here on these seeds of Sabinaria Magnifica. Now, I bought, um, originally bought a hundred of these, and uh, they arrived about four or five days ago, and they were still had the fruit on them, which was actually nice because it kind of preserves the quality of the seed. Some of them can get a little bit darker than others, you can see, um, you know, a good color is kind of like a medium brown the light brown means they're i mean they're not they're still ripe but the darker brown means they're a little bit like the fruit was kind of more was more rotten when um it was taken off so not a big deal i've seen those they've already started to germinate and uh looking forward to selling germinated seed um which will be available uh if you check my my links uh <clears throat> now these seeds were first offered around 2013 for about 30 to 35 dollars each and that's just for the seed not for a plant or a germinated seed so uh, these come from uh, the Darien, which is basically an area of very much east, far eastern Panama and northwestern Colombia. In fact, it's actually a, a, a lot of eastern Panama as part of the Darien. And there's no road that goes through there because it's kind of like a, a hilly and swampy jungle area with uh, native people that are quite um, unhappy with outsiders. And there's also some rebel groups that do kind of hide in the area. So it's not a surprise that this wasn't discovered until five, six years ago. And uh, so what I've done is I kind of, normally I wouldn't just sell germinated seed. I tried to sell seed, but I really wanted to grow this and see, you know, how well they germinated. I've already had, um, you know, five or so germinate so, so far. It's only been four or five days. And uh, yeah, four days. And so <clears throat> I bought uh, orchid moss on Amazon, a one kilo bale, because I didn't have time to go down to Miami. I was out of uh, really good moss. And the, the key to growing and germinating seeds like this is, I mean, they will germinate pretty well on their own, but keeping fungus away, stuff like that, um, you know, and uh, being able to, you know, mediate the environment. Um, basically, you want to have like really clean media. So this moss basically does not uh, grow really any fungus. And it takes a very long time and uh, it's very, it holds its moisture really well. It's nice and pliable. And you can kind of cover it. You can see I have a layer of it here and like that. And then I, I put the seeds down and then I put another little layer on top to kind of cover it. And it's not really necessary to cover it because it's in a closed container, which locks up. I do it just to kind of, you know, keep them just entirely engulfed in the moss. So uh, kind of like how they would be in the jungle. They just kind of drop to the ground covered by a loose like leaf litter and stuff like that so these seeds um are going to be going up are already sold and i have some more here they're all germinating um and uh they're very interesting in shape they kind of they vary quite a bit this is just six seeds i pulled out this is kind of just like a round seed almost similar to i mean it's not completely round but it's it's ovoid and uh then you can get something as irregular as this kind of almost looks almost like a little like a hamster crab shell and uh, kind of everything in between. I have some that look kind of triangular. So it's quite an odd looking seed. It's definitely a notable, like it's, you can notice it right away. It's, it's unique to any other seed that I've really seen in the palm world. They actually look more like a cycad. Most of the cycad seeds that you'll see, um, you know, just kind of in shape where they have that curve. And here, you guys can see there's where the divot, you got, the, you got a pointy end and a rounder end. And right in the middle of there, right where my, the middle of my thumb tip is kind of right there. Um, that's where it's going to germinate and show you guys everyone here let's find a germinated one maybe I won't get so lucky right off the bat there was one right here where'd you go most of the germinated ones are actually on this side so I'm gonna start moving looking over here There we go. So there's actually two germinated ones right there. There's one right there and one right there. Now that, that really nice white color, it's gonna be, is a very good uh, note indicator of like, you know, a good germination process. If you see it like darker, that means that rot has kind of gotten in there and sometimes they'll be black, but still put out a root. It's kind of like, a sh it's kind of just like the fungus is kind of pushing the, uh, the embryo out and it's, that's definitely not a good sign. So. Um, you can see they're starting to germinate already just in four or five days time, actually more like three and a half. But um, yeah, you know, it's quite interesting to, to do this. I haven't really used this method in a while, but I will use it on like extremely expensive 
stuff like cycads and rare palms and it's it's kind of it's very easy it's a very controlled environment where you can um you know manipulate the uh you know or you can you know you, you can manipulate pretty much every single aspect of it you don't have to worry about the sun i keep this inside the garage where it's not going to you don't want this to be in direct sun because uh it can really raise the temperature up to tropical really tropical palms do not like temperatures above uh like 90 90 95 fahrenheit so like it's only the subtropical stuff that really likes that real high heat when i say subtropical i mean palms that like to grow in you know non-rainforest climates it's so like savannas or even uh, monsoonal climates so um yeah so we'll kind of see how this kind of progresses uh, over time uh you know i hope that most of these germinate and i hope the ones that are have been sold uh will also germinate and uh we'll kind of go from there and i'll kind of keep you guys updated on it um it's kind of interesting for me because i haven't i never worked with these before but um just when they first came out i really wasn't uh much into the in the palm world at that particular time so i'm just trying to cover it as long as i can get a little uh ocd about it but hey they're they're pretty rare i don't want to you know i'm going to make sure that everything is done properly so uh yeah that that amazon orchid moss um definitely works really well just in like in a rubbermaid container with a lockable thing on it so you know it's always going to be closed and uh, controlled climate once in a while like once a week you're going to want to um, just kind of check for water content. You're going to need to really moisten that moss because it comes dry and it soaks up a lot of water. So, um, I, like I said, I'll keep you guys updated and hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you guys are new to the channel and want to see more palm vlogs, go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell notification. I go live quite often. And uh, if you have any questions about the Sabinaria or if you'd like to get some, um, Leave a comment down, comment down below, or you can see my information on um, in the in the like about the video section. You'll see my email, my Instagram, and my Facebook business page. So, anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see everyone next time.